Hey, Matt 31, I had another question uh, uh, coming off of section 2.4. How do you do number 41? So this is one of those powers of I problems. So here's your basic rundown when you're looking at I's. They, they cycle out with every powers or with multiples of four. So here's what I mean. I itself will be equal to I, and that kind of seems like a silly sentence, but we'll go with it for right now. And we know I squared is equal to negative one. I cubed is equal to negative I, and I to the fourth is equal to one. And if you're wondering where these last two come from, if you're like, well, where is she getting I cubed is negative one, and I to the fourth is one, let, let me show you. All right, so if I want to talk about I cubed, I'm just going to scribble this up here. I cubed is technically I squared times I. And we just said I squared is negative 1, so this becomes negative 1 times I, which is just negative I. So that's where I'm getting this I cubed is equal to negative I. All right. And then also, if I take a look at I to the fourth, well, I to the fourth is I squared times I squared, and that's negative 1 times negative 1, which is positive 1. So we got all that going on. So that's how I'm getting these last two. Just a little algebraic manipulation there. Okay, so with that, let me erase this. And then let me rewrite this just so we have it as we move forward with these problems. So i cubed is negative i, i to the fourth is one. All right, so you look here and they want i to the 22nd power. Now, if I wanna write this out the long way, i to the 22nd would technically be i to the fourth times i to the fourth times i to the fourth times i to the fourth, wait for it, times i to the fourth times i squared. All right, but the thing is, and, and the reason I'm looking for these i to the fourths is because i to the fourth is the multiplicative identity. It's just one. So this is one times one times one times one times one times one times i squared, all right, which is just i squared, which we also happen to know is negative one. So that's where I'm getting this negative one down here at the bottom. Now, if you wanted to think about it a different way, you could say this was i to the fourth, and there were five of them, and then we had i squared left over. So that's one to the fifth times negative one, which is still negative one, and that's what you see me writing down here. And I think an even quicker way, if you want to just get as, I, I would say the most efficient way, is just to take the number 22 and divide it by four. So four goes into 22, you could tell me it was five times, right? I could subtract that 20 and you'll give me that I have a remainder of two. Well, if you look at your remainder, it's two. If you think about the power of i that has a two on it, that's i squared, right? And you see here, we get the negative one and the negative one here. So really your remainder, if you wanna divide your exponent, which in this case is 22, let me use a different color pen real quick. If I wanna divide that exponent, there we go, that exponent of 22 by four, whatever the remainder is, that will tell you if your answer is ultimately i, negative one, negative i, or positive one. So if you get a remainder of zero, then your answer is gonna be one. If you get a remainder of one, your answer is gonna be i. If you get a remainder of two, your answer is negative one, and if you get a remainder of three, your answer is negative i. All right, so I hope that clears up number 41. Thanks so much, gang. Bye.